Hey everyone, it's Julia from Girls Inc. Today I want to talk with you about community. What does the word community mean to you? A community is a group of people who have something in common or who do something together. Can you think of any communities that you're a part of? This could include the neighborhood where you live, your school, your church or temple, and your family. At Girls Inc., we're a community too. The great thing about being part of a community is that we can all help each other out when we need it. Have you noticed anyone helping out in your community lately? I've noticed people bringing groceries to the elderly, handing out masks, or giving out fruit that they grow in their yard. I've also noticed people putting up cheerful artwork in their windows. Spreading joy is always a wonderful way to help the people in your community, and art is a great way to spread joy. You know, that reminds me of a book called Maybe Something Beautiful. It's a true story about a young artist in San Diego. She loved to draw, and so she would hand out her colorful drawings to different people in her community around where she lived. Then she met another artist and together they bring together all her neighbors to make a mural together. A mural is a big painting on a wall in a city. I'll read you the story, maybe something beautiful, and then when we're done, we can each create our own cheerful drawings to put up in the windows where we live as a way of reaching out to our community even while we stay inside. Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood by F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell. Illustrated by Rafael Lopez. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Ms. Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held up his fingers in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow! The shadows scurried away Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowee! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then others came. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop, 
Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you? He asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did Joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine. And everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. Wow. Reading that story helped me feel happier and more cheerful. How do you feel after listening to the story? For today's activity, we will spread Mira's message of joy through artwork that we can share with our community right from our homes. Get yourself a piece of paper, something to color with, I use crayons, and you'll need a piece of tape if you wanna tape it up in your window. Then you can get started drawing something that you would like to put up in your window at home to cheer people up as they pass by. Remember, Mira draws simple things like a sun, a flower, a butterfly, and a heart. But she uses bright colors to make her drawings very cheerful. I'll show you some ex examples of what I came up with. For my first drawing, I wanted to use a lot of bright colors, so I made a rainbow. Next, I tried to think of some positive messages that I could write out. The first one, I wrote, you are wonderful, with some hearts to remind people of all the love that they have in their life. Another message I came up with, stay healthy to remind people to take care of themselves and not get sick. I drew some pictures of things that people need to help them stay healthy, like water to stay hydrated, sunshine, fruits like oranges and strawberries, and I draw a person going for a walk to remind people to get outside and exercise. And over here, I drew a little guy meditating or practicing mindfulness as a way of keeping his, his mind healthy too. But that's just what I came up with. Why don't you get started drawing and let me know what you come up with. You can take a picture and share it with us on social media. And I hope you have fun spreading joy. What an awesome way to help your community.